All right, we just got in big uh, breaking news. Amit Shah, the Home Minister, who has said this before as well, making it very clear that if the Prime Minister is voted for the third time, then the government will ensure that uh, the Muslim Personal Law Board will be finished. It will be a thing of the past and that the Uniform Civil Code will come into effect. So a big statement there coming in from Amit Shah uh, on this latest uh, bit of news coming in. Let's just play it out. Uh, reaction of the Home Minister. Bhaiyo Beno, Modi Ji ne dhara 370 ko hotaya. Ram Mandir ka marg prasat kiya. PFI par ban lagaya. Aur triple talaq samapt kiya. Aur desh mein uniform civil code lakar Muslim personal law ko samapt karne ka kaam Narendra Modi Ji ne kiya. अभी सिर्फ उत्तराखंड में आया है मोदी जी ने संकल्प पत्र में घोषणा की है कि मोदी जी को तीसरी बार प्रधानमंत्री बना दो पूरे देश भर में यूसीसी लाने का काम और मुस्लिम पर्सनल लॉ समाप्त करने का काम नरेंद्र मोदी जी Let's go straight across now to Pyle for more on this. Pyle, the uh, Home Minister once again reiterating and also putting the emphasis and making it very clear that if the Prime Minister comes to power, Muslim personal law will be a thing of the past. In fact, he said this before also, how the Uniform Civil Code is part of the party's manifesto. It is something that is really, really on the top of their minds and how it's a huge social reform. Well, absolutely. You know, the Union Home Minister reiterating what has been said by the BJP on multiple occasions. And also, it's, it is importantly a part of their manifesto. It has, in fact, been a part of their manifesto, both in 2014 as well as in 2019 as well. You just see the pilot of the Uniform Civil Code happen in Uttarakhand, like the Home Minister was just saying, Avantika. And there are several states within the BJP rank, you know, the BJP rules states like Assam, Gujarat, Maharashtra, among the others who have already committed that they will be bringing in the Uniform Civil Court. So, obviously, the government of the day has said that they will be bringing in this. And the party which is uh, very, very conscious of coming into power is once again seeking the votes and telling people that we will make sure that there is one country and one law and that's the reason the Uniform Civil Code is going to be extremely important. The reason that the BJP wanted to bring a pilot project to the government is they wanted to test the waters and they wanted to see if it was there any legal implications, etc. But it seems that it's been smooth, a uh, passage as far as the Uniform Civil Code in uh, Uttarakhand is concerned. So obviously, Amit Shah once again reiterating whatever his party leadership has been saying. This was announced by the Prime Minister himself on the day of the manifesto. Tell me something, has the Home Minister also given details as to how it would be uh, put through legal scrutiny? Now, I know that it's already a law in Uttarakhand, but have they, do they have a plan, Pyle, that if, if the Prime Minister, if the BJP comes back to power in these elections, how will they implement this, uh, the Uniform Civil Code in the country? Well, of course, the if is there for only a certain number of people because the BJP seems to be extremely confident in Avantika. They feel that nothing is going to stop them from coming into power. And like I said, the several BJP rule states have already made their announcement saying that they will be bringing in the Uniform Civil Court. And possibly the next stage in the line could be Assam, which is well on course to prepare the grounds for that is concerned. So, you know, a certain number of states really bring in that, then you don't need to bring a central law as what we are given to understand. So, obviously, the government of the day has always has already looked at uh, the, the details, uh, already looked at the legal implications. And that's the reason, you know, even in the Uniform Civil Court bill was being brought in Uttarakhand. Every step of the way, Amit Shah was pretty much part of the entire process. I remember very clearly that all the draft reports were shared by the German Chief Minister and of course, Vandana Desai, who was heading the committee for the Uniform Civil Code with the Union Home Minister and with the higher ups in the BJP and the government. And the party seems to be extremely confident that this is going to soon become a reality. Remember, when the BJP was seeking vote on Antika for the first time in 2014, they had made three to four commitments. Just forget the fact that the Ram Mandir... Right, Pal, 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 just stay on with me. Charan Singh Sapra from the Congress is also joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Sapra, how do you respond to the remarks being made, the assertion, in fact, I would say, by the Home Minister saying that if the BJP is voted to power, one thing that is going to take priority is the implementation of the Uniform Civil Code. And he's very categorically stated that Muslim law will be a thing of the past. It will be finished, Muslim Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all the latest news and updates, do follow us on our social media platforms.